The Tree, by Ezra Pound is a 12-line poem that is contained within a single stanza of text. The lines do not follow a single rhyme scheme or metrical pattern, although they are fairly similar in length, visually, and metrically. There are also examples of perfect and half rhyme within the text and at the ends of lines. For example, old and wold are perfect rhymes at the ends of lines 4 and 5. Ezra Weston Loomis Pound, 30 October 1885 to the 1st of November 1972, was an expatriate American poet and critic, a major figure in the early modernist poetry movement, and a fascist collaborator in Italy during World War II. His works include Riposte's 1912, Hugh Selwyn Mauberly, 1920, and his 800-page epic poem, The Cantos Circa, 1917-1962. Text of the poem. The Tree. I stood still and was a tree amid the wood. Knowing the truth of things unseen before. Of Daphne and the laurel bow. And that God-feasting couple old. That grew elm oak amid the wold. Twas not until the gods had been. Kindly entreated, and been brought within. Unto the hearth of their heart's home. That they might do this wonder thing. Nathless I have been a tree amid the wood. And Manyanuthing understood. That was rank folly to my head before. Half rhyme, also known as slant or partial rhyme, is seen through the repetition of assonance or consonants. This means that either a vowel or consonant sound is reused within one line, or multiple lines of verse. There are several examples in this piece, for instance, tree, and, folly, in lines 10 and 12 as well as, unseen, and, Daphne, in lines 2 and 3. In the first lines of, the tree, the speaker begins by uses a metaphor to describe his place in the world and how he interprets it. His lens is informed by the stories taken from Ovid's Metamorphosis, as referenced in the introduction to this analysis. He was a, tree amid the wood. In this solid and interconnected position, he was able to see things that others could not. His perception was enhanced and more insightful than a normal human's would be. He is able to know the, truth of things. The next three lines refer to the stories of Apollo and Daphne and Bossus and Philemon. Pound speaks of Daphne, who was transformed into a laurel tree, and the couple who were transformed into two different trees for their service to the gods. The speaker's place insight includes knowing the truth of these stories and the moral lessons they have to teach. In the next four lines of the tree, the speaker goes into details about the latter story, that of Bossus and Philemon. He describes how the gods were kindly entreated, for their assistance. This was after they were, brought within, to the, hearth, of the couple's home. The couple showed them kindness, displayed their own love, and in reward they did this, wonder thing. They transferred the couple into a mortal tree form so that they might stay intertwined forever. In the final three lines of, the tree, pound begins with the word, nathless, meaning nevertheless. He is transitioning into an example of repetition. In it, he reiterates how sitting in the woods, as a metaphorical tree, has allowed him to tap into a truth about nature and love. These are pieces of information that he didn't have access to before. With only a few words Pound is able to create a lyrically poignant poem. This piece is a great representative of his early works.